this is Jay Pink here and I'm back with another video and this video is going to be a haul specifically a wet n wild haul video because I finally caught some wet n wild products like every time I first things first is this eyeshadow palette and it is called walking on eggshells and it's this pretty colors right here we ain't spoken so long probably put me in the past I can still get you but yeah so this eyeshadow that I have on right now is actually from this palette I use all the colors with the exception of a matte brown and a black on my eyes and my brow bone filling out so I really like this this is perfect fall wear and again it's called walking on eggshells and this eyeshadow palette I got is called Petal Pusher by Wet n Wild and it's just really a whole bunch of purples and stuff pretty purples and all that good stuff and I was drawn to this palette because of this this right here these two colors right here um I'm really excited to use this I'm going to do a makeup tutorial on these eyeshadows soon um yeah, the pay color payoff is pretty decent. Next up are the lipsticks, and I'm gonna start with the lipstick that I have on my lips right now. And it is called Cherry Bomb from Wet n Wild. And as you can see, my lips is gorgeous. Now, I've been searching for the Vamp It Up by Wet n Wild. I haven't been lucky enough to get my hands on that, but I am. Watch real soon. I'm getting some. But next up, I have Spotlight Red. Um, for what I'm well, and this is um, more of a on the camera right now. It's looking like it's more of a pinkish base blue, but it's really not in real life. It's more moving. And it's a very pretty color, and I think this red will look good with my summertime hair skin to kind of make it into the winter. Next, I have Mocha Licious, and this is a nude that is perfect for my skin complexion. Maybe a shade, two shades darker than my skin complexion, and maybe a shade lighter than my skin complexion. This is a beautiful, beautiful nude for the brown skin. Um, now, if you're light skin, like you have more yellow tones, I wouldn't suggest wearing this. It might make you look. Next up, I have Bear It All by Wet n Wild, and excuse the dark lip liner. I Put this on with purple yesterday just to see what it would look like and it looks really good must i say but um this is more for my light skin babies but i use this to mix it with this brown with mocha licious and i mix them together because if you put mocha licious on and put this in the center of it it gives you that highlight and makes your lips look plump so my next two lipsticks from wet n wild this next one is called dark orchard and that's what it looks like and I mix this lip with another color, that's why you see that at the top. But that is what it looks like. And this lipstick costs me 99 cents. Who's bed are you sleeping with? Someone's hiding you. It's another great fall color. I really like this color. I really do. I think my and the next lip color is called Dark Frost Dark Pink Frost. I guess that's what I get for talking to the fake accent. But if you see my new Beauty Guru tag, it is that purple with gold flecks. And this is so pretty to me. I love this. Like this would even go great with the makeup that I have on right now. But you know, I like that look, so. Uh, the next three lipsticks that I'm going to show you are from the Fergie Wet n Wild collection. She has apparently teamed up with them and come out with the Fergie line. I only bought the lipsticks from her line, but they have, I think they have eyeliners, because like I said, when I went to, um, normally when I go to Wet n Wild, I mean to Walgreens, the Wet n Wild section has been torn up. And since Fergie came out with hers, the Wet n Wild section alone is fine, but the Fergie section is a disaster. Like people have been all up through that. I was lucky to find the ones that I found. So this one is called Sangria, and I wore this in, an, in my eyebrow tutorial video, 
and this is a gorgeous red. It's almost like the um the spotlight red, but there's something about it that I like. I can't put my hand on it, but there's something a little different. Maybe that it is matte. Maybe that it's matte. In, in the video, I put um. I think it had on chapstick under it. That's why it looks glossy. But yeah, it's called Fergie Daily, and it looks like bare it all with a hint more of brown. So, and I mix it again with brown lip liner. That's what you see there on the top. But it has a hint more of brown. This one looks like it has more brown to it but than this one, but this one is actually more okay. However, I promise you in real life, this, the Fergie Daily is a lot darker than the, um, than the Bear It All. But both of them look good. Right now, the Fergie Daily is making the Bear It All. Yeah. Last but not least is my all-time favorite. Like, you guys don't understand how happy I was to they see this lipstick had in the game. Like, I almost it's did a bad look. Be a lot of this last one is called on. Pagan Who the fuck Angel. Who the fuck and it is. Can you guess so what color this is? How gangster is this? Yeah, now, I love dark lips. I just think black lips are Baby, I heat up the stove, you do the dishes, you know. Rap game, crack game, ain't that different, you know. Last album had it boom or something vicious, you know. And you know, I would put this in because it's not so opaque, but it is dark. Like, you can build this color up. I would put maybe purple lip base under here and then just put the black on one and it would be all the you need at 4 a.m. with this leg So that was all of the things that I bought from Wet and Wild from Wet and Wild and I'm really happy because I've been trying to find some Wet and Wild products for the longest and I finally got my hands on some. So if you guys like this video or if there's something else from the Wet and Wild collection that you think I should buy or something you know that you think I should know about, let me know and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!